Okay, everybody, this is your boy A Dub here with AdubProductions.com. I'm trying to show you how to the proper way, the full way now of uh, how to change your keyboard off of your MacBook Pro. As you can see here, I have a MacBook Pro aluminum keys um, here in front of me, and I'm going to show you that these keys are not working. Let me zoom in a little bit, focus. All right, so as you, I'm going to hit the A button. I got nothing. S D F J K no H J K nothing's working. A few of them up here are working, but as you go further right here, you get nothing. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um swap everything out of here. All right. I ordered swap the keyboard out rather. I ordered got my new keyboard in the mail. Um, this company's called uh www.muchbuy.com and yeah I got my keyboard so when you get your keyboard it's going to come out like this you're going to get it in a container like this alright let's unwrap it let's see what it looks like alright alright this is your new keyboard this keyboard is going to Go in here like this, all right? First, we gotta take the thing apart. What, you, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need, um, I think I got this, yeah, Radio Shack, as you can see. You can go to Radio Shack and, um, focus. Go to Radio Shack and purchase uh, something like this for, it's not that expensive. I forgot how much I paid for it. It's, it's, it was kinda cheap though, you know? All right, so anyway, all right. You're gonna need this, it's got all the different sizes of, uh, flat heads and precision Phillips and all that you need to take your MacBook apart all right you're gonna want to make sure that you're not on um, any carpet or anything like that or you're not like rubbing your hands on your material that you're wearing so that you don't um, you know electrocute fry your computers uh, brains or whatever don't save okay so I'm gonna shut down a computer and I'm probably gonna fast forward to this part but we're gonna uh, take the screws out of the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly the screws you need to take out. All right. Okay, we're gonna take out this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw. Four on that side, two in the back. One, 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 two, three, four. You know, but these ones, th these we're gonna take out last. We're gonna take these out first. When, when you remove the battery, there's Screw right here, screw right here, screw right here. One, one, and one, two, three, four. And then you're gonna go along the body and take out all the, all the rest of them, okay? All right, so I'm probably gonna fast forward through this part, but I guess I'll tape it anyway. I think I got the wrong head in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, underneath this part right here, don't forget, there's two more screws right here. There's a screw right here and a screw right here. You're gonna need the star, you're gonna need the star um, head for that one. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a second. It's uh, this head right here. It's shaped like a star, you know? This is a different type of head. Not the Phillips star. I know you can't see that, but I'm not gonna zoom in because I wanna get this done. All right. Sit your screws to the side so that you can um, see them in some type of order so that when you're putting them back together, you'll be able to find what screw goes where. All right. So. Boom. So we got all these screws out right here, right? All the screws out. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the computer. We're gonna open it up, all right? And we're gonna lift this part up. See, this part comes up. And then the front here is where you wanna, like, be careful. There's like some snaps right here in the front that uh, snap up. So what I do, I use like the flathead part of this. 
you can get like a little plastic prior they come in like the like if you go on Amazon and buy like a precision Phillips uh, tool set you know you could uh they have like a little plastic plastic prior so you just like they these this thing pops up let me start from the other side because you don't want to like break this stuff right here because you want your Mac to hold together um, I'm trying to do this in a way I can show you these little guys lock in place and they're kind of like he's got a snap in a second here now you can't see what I'm doing so pop, pop it up having a little difficulty here give me a second See, you hear that snap? Snap, snap. I don't know, I'm just twisting it up, see? Twist, pop, snap. Not a pop, actually. You don't want to hear a pop, she like snaps. Alright, now, we got that up. Alright, let me adjust this camera a little bit better. Alright, so now, you see what we have here is this little plastic thing is attached to the uh, attached to the keyboard. When you when you pick it up, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let me zoom in a little bit. Focus. Okay, there's a little plastic thing. You, you, there, it should be held down by some tape. So you take the tape off. All right, take it just to hold it down, and then you just pull that whole top part off. Now you're good. This is the part we're gonna do surgery on right here. This part right here is the part we're gonna do surgery on. So you take this computer, you take your computer, and sit it to the side. Now, let's see what we got here. Let's open up our new one so I can show you what exactly what we're doing. All right, so this right here is sitting in here. This actually comes in from this way, guys. Like, so th this, we're gonna sit this in here this way, all right? So when you take it out, it's gonna drop. When you take this old key out, it comes out this way and you put this one in this way, all right? So this part right here is not, we just, this the part just has a, all the little screws on it, see? There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve screws, and there's some little like rigid things that we gotta untwist. But first, before we access all of this, we have to take off this um, plastic, this little uh, scotch tape type thing. And what you're gonna do when 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 um, when you put it back, when we put it back on, is we're gonna replace that with uh, electrical tape. Or if we can get it off neat enough, we can just use that. All right, so what we're gonna do right here, we're gonna unattach this. There's some tape holding that down right there. So we take that off, take the tape off. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm trying to show you what I'm doing here. Precision. So you guys won't butcher your stuff. Of course this is at your own risk, obviously. So I'm taking this tape off right here. All right. To the side, I guess. And then this part right here, this is the tricky part. This, this, there's a little flip right here. Um, let me focus. All right, boom. This little guy right here, we actually have to. This, this little part right here flips up, and this um, little slide thing it slides out. So you gotta like get it to flip up. Let me get one. See, I flipped it up. See that hinge right there? It flips up. Yeah, real small, right? So when we take the when we um take this part off right here, and we this is the actual keyboard part. Like this part right here, this part right here is relative to this part right here. So this is where we have to get the actual thing to slide back in to get the unit working. And this part right here is this part right here what we have to slide back in there yeah it's really like it's really uh precise here and it's like kind of like you know hard to do like the first time i did it but i could just 
uns take this out, but I'll, I'd rather just wait till I get the the other part off. All right, so we're gonna work on this part now. Wait, actually, okay, yeah, we're gonna work on this uh this tape right here. Getting this tape off. You, you, you I kind of like like to reuse stuff. You know what I mean? Because obviously the manufacturer put it there for a reason. So I kind of like try to get it off neatly so I can reuse the same, the same thing. All right. So as you can see, this one's coming off fairly easy. And I didn't rip anything so, so I could reuse it. All right. I'm going to sit that right there. Boom. And work on this side now. I think the manufacturer's purpose of putting this on was to like, see these ridges? There's ridges on the side here. I think it's to protect the ridges um, from the uh, other computer. Of course, I don't work for Apple, so that's just my uh, guess. Don't take my word for it. But it's just like, these ridges are fairly sharp, so I think like that would make sense. I can't see any other purpose for this uh, tape being on here, but who cares? Because we're just gonna put uh, black electrical tape to recover that. You know what I mean? All right, let's go. This is not, it's not that hard. The hardest part is, uh, a little tear. The hardest part is once you get the keyboard off, getting those little small pieces to like go back where they're supposed to be. That's where you gotta take your time and just work it. I'm gonna try to like, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is to show you guys that it can be done. You just have to slide it a certain way. Let me take this on. All right. Good. I can reuse that. Cool. All right. Now, <sighs> dusty. Next part is these little guys right here. I'm going to zoom in as close as I can and try to get some. All right, if you can see this thing right here, it's actually, let me focus. All right, it's, it's, can you see that? It's like a little thing right here and you gotta like bend it, bend it back because it's actually like keeping this thing in place. If you got your computer open, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's one, two, three, Four. There's four of them. Sorry about the focus. Let me zoom out. So there's one, two, three, four. Unless you got your computer open, you can't see what I'm talking about because like I can't zoom in that close. Let me see if I can get one good glimpse of it. This is a HVX 200, by the way, for those of you who want to know what kind of camera I'm on. Zoomed in too close. All right. Let's see if I can. Get a shot of this little ridge I'm talking about. See, there's a little ridge right there. It's like, it's, it's just aluminum. You just bend it back, okay? You just bend that back. That way, you know, the keyboard will come out. I think it's like kind of like a clip. There's another one over here. Bend it. You know, you could use your nails or you could use like a flathead screwdriver. 